A call for the mayor to resign and a city official's first appearance since filing a lawsuit against her city. Good evening, everyone. I'm Craig Cannon. I'm Kelly Johnson, and our 4029's Paige Poissy has been following this saga out of Cave Springs from the very start, and she's joining us now live with the latest from tonight's city council meeting. Paige? Well, Kelly, I can tell you the drama reached new heights tonight. That meeting just ended after more than three hours. We know the mayor was asked to resign by a Cave Springs resident, and the city council voted to take the mayor's powers over the IT department and give them to the treasurer. The treasurer, if you remember, is the one who filed the lawsuit against the city. The treasurer's lawsuit was brought up tonight. She claims, if you remember, that the city unfairly punished her, claiming she wasn't fulfilling her duties, even though she says they were not clearly defined. One resident stood up and asked, who's going to pay for the suit? The mayor answered, the city. That same resident responded, the taxpayers. And that was also met with applause. The treasurer has missed the last couple of meetings, but we know that she was there tonight. She also says that her attorney has advised her not to speak to the media. She pretty much stuck to the script. She did not make mention of that lawsuit whatsoever tonight. So lots of drama unfolding here in Cave Springs. And again, that meeting took more than three hours to wrap up. There were a lot of public comments tonight about other issues in the city, and there's always the issue of the budget that still has yet to be resolved. Live in Cave Springs, Paige Poissy, 4029 News.